Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're looking at five great looks with one suit. Now a question that comes up quite often in a lot of forums and groups that I'm involved in uh, is I only have a limited budget and how do I get into buying suits and wearing men's attire? Well, the answer is quite straightforward. If you're on a limited budget and you don't wear a suit all the time, then maybe just buy one suit. And everybody will tell you that's in the business, the best purchase to make would be either a navy blue suit or a charcoal gray, like the one I'm wearing today. Now, that's great with one suit, it fills in all the formal occasions you may wear a suit to, but also it doesn't really lend itself to a little bit more looser attire, for example, going to a party or something like that. So today's video, we're gonna look at five different outfits, scaling from the formal, where you might wear it for a job interview, to a less informal look, all the way down to still wearing a suit, but in a more casual setting, for example, with no tie. So the first outfit, is as you see me now it's more formal in that simple ambassadors fold on the uh, on the pocket square uh, a muted color in this case a burgundy but obviously another color would be a plain navy tie that goes well uh, white shirt charcoal gray suit the reason why i've used a charcoal gray suit is because it's easier to match colours with a navy suit. Grey tends to be one of those ones that a lot of people shy away from. So that's why I've targeted a grey suit today for you. But the principles are the same if you bought a navy suit. Now with this suit, everything is kept as plain and simple as possible, including the shoes. So in this case, we'd recommend that you use a very simple Oxford shoe, plain toe cap and that would do you really well. This type of outfit goes really well for formal occasions, whether that's uh, uh, weddings or even to uh, job interviews. So how do we change this and lift it up a little bit? Well, the, ne the next step would be to change the colour of the tie possibly the pocket square and change the type of shoes that you're going to wear. So here we have uh, just a simple change of the tie and change of a pair of shoes. So in this case you can notice it's a little bit more colourful. Still got the pocket square plain ambassador fold so it's still a little bit formal and uh, change the shoes maybe for a black brogue or maybe a burgundy brogue. Still a good look, still quite formal and uh, it's another good look. So how can we make this even more informal? Well again that might be by introducing colour into the shirt or changing the colour of the tie, even more vibrant or introducing a coloured pocket square and that's what we're going to do now. So here we have uh, a change in the pattern of the tie and also the colour of the shirt has changed. The knot is a more informal knot. This is the Prince Albert. Uh, I'll leave a link down below so if you want to uh, have a look at how to tie this knot then the instructions will be there. Uh, pocket square is an interesting one. We've introduced some colour but because the tie is quite uh, awkward to match this is the trick that my grandfather taught me. Pick a couple of the predominant colours, use two pocket squares and then pull them together in a ruffle so that you end up with a mixture of the two colours in the pocket. It's a simple way of doing it and it's still quite effective. So with this look, um, this is more informal, um, so therefore the change in the shoes as well. 
could be less informal. Before we were talking about brogues as a step down from Oxford's. In this case, we're going to stick with uh, a brogue, but an Italian design. So it's a different shape, different cut, still has broguing just on the tip of the toe. And you'll notice it's a very unusual shape, nicely cut on the sides. By introducing a different coloured uh, laces, this also lifts it up a bit and makes it a lot more light-hearted. So there's another great look. So if we want to take this down and go even more informal than what we already have done, then we could introduce another colour in the shirt and more vibrant colours in the pocket square and the tie. So in this look we've upgraded the colours if you like in the shirt. We've changed it from a cool look with the blue. This time we're using pink to give it a bit of warmth and on this occasion we've used a more predominantly red paisley tie and uh, changed the pocket square to similar colours and this gives an overall warmer look and obviously a lot less informal than the very first suit we were wearing. Same suit, different look. Uh, the other thing is with the shoes. Now because we're becoming more and more informal you could use for example the burgundy brogues we were talking about or you could wear uh, brown brogues or derby shoes and now we're going into the area where you could introduce suede. Now because this is a charcoal grey suit you could introduce black suede or chocolate brown suede. They would go really well and complementary to these colours and suede is much more informal than um, the browns and the black shoes. So the last look we're looking at is changing the shirt for maybe a pattern shirt of some description and not wearing a tie at all. And for the final outfit, uh, we're still wearing a grey suit. Uh, we've changed the shirt for a red and white gingham shirt, picked up some of the colours in the pocket square. And because we're still wearing uh, the grey suit, it can afford itself to either more formal shoes or informal shoes. So in this case, because we've got some reds in the pocket square and in the shirt, you could still get away with wearing the brogues, the burgundy brogues. You could go for a more informal suede version of a brogue or uh, some other form of uh, suede shoe. Or you could try these. Now, ordinarily, I would say avoid lighter tan shoes with formal suits. But because we're doing this in an informal setting, this colour here, mid chestnut, that sort of colour, goes really well with this colour suit in this setting in an informal environment. So it's something to consider. So that brings us to a close with this video. We hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, give us a thumbs up. Uh, we always welcome constructive comments. Anything you say, we will try and accommodate in the next videos, as long as it's constructive, of course. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. If you want to subscribe or like to subscribe, then please feel free to do so. And don't forget to share the the link if you feel that other people would benefit from it. So until next time, take care.